hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this trading session I've got a massive claim on this slide the world's best trading strategy the strategy that I'm about to show you well I believe it to be one of the best if not the best trend following strategy you could possibly follow now in the end you can be the judge any strategy that achieves a good 80 85 percent win loss ratio that is easy to recognize and easy to trade is an absolute winner and that's what this strategy is I was actually preparing a training session for my um, coaching group tomorrow and I thought I've just got to put some of this down in a new recording for the general public to see this because it's very very powerful now it doesn't matter whether you trade stocks Forex or futures it really doesn't matter as long as you go to market the trends it's got some volume and I'll show you a whole range of markets in a moment uh, this is a killer strategy now basically it's a pattern and as the statement says here the market has a memory we see the same patterns every day all markets and all time frames that is the same patterns that we see say on a one minute chart will appear on a four minute chart what you see on a one tick Renko will appear on a six tick Renko the markets are fractal in nature and that can be a little bit difficult to get your head around initially but just trust me on this one okay because I'm going to be showing you some some great charts and really giving you the logic behind the overall strategy but very important stop looking for reasons why these strategies don't work and one reason I say that traders is that probably I've got over 5,000 members now and a good 70% of them uh, are experienced traders or have been trading in the past and for many traders they've, they've blown their accounts once or twice and what that actually does it does cause what we call psychological damage when it comes to trading and it can build up this unhealthy skepticism on everything that is shown to them and it blinds them it's very very important you look at the logic why these strategies work particularly the key one I'm going to show you today so in other words don't let negative past experiences steal your future because it is a major issue with traders where they want to play the blame game because this strategy for 2b traders that I'm going to be showing you is it real you almost cannot fail if you follow the rules it's very mechanical in its nature as long as you're following the rules uh, as you're about to see it's virtually fail proof now as we get into this there is a risk in trading traders feel free to pause the video um, don't trade with the rent money and of course master every strategy that you learn in sim before you go live very very important very very quick advertisement from the sponsor here if you haven't already obtained my free training manual please visit my website or click on the link below I've got two different manuals I've got a general trading manual and uh, which is free and also the truth about day trading so also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of my videos and even more important become a member and this is also very very important I've got to say this right now because this is going to be the end of the big sell is to invest in my programs $197 you receive 15 of the world's best day and swing trading strategies visit my website have a look at the videos of what you get it's the most comprehensive program in the world today it also includes indicators so visit my website have a look at that you can join but what I'm about to show you there are literally uh, probably 10 hours of training training videos on this specific uh, strategy and on top of that it doesn't matter what trading platform that you use you can virtually adapt any platform because we use common indicators in virtually every case for learning how to trade what we call for 2b now let's move on first of all let me quickly talk to you about the markets these are the markets I track or trade uh, whether it be gold the ES uh, the Bund for the European market the uh, e mini Russell the Nasdaq the Dow the yen uh, futures contracts it really doesn't matter which market you trade this strategy kicks but on virtually every market as long as you have a market that's um, uh, the that, that trends and you've got volume it doesn't have to trend all the time because one of the things with any strategy 
or 99% of a strategy that is you've got to really learn how to recognize a trend and that's very very important now another thing that we roll into this before we go to some of the logic and look at the charts this is something that I teach in my coaching program five by five yes I can five by five yes I can that is we scalp and and this is for an example this particular chart is on or for, for uh, oil the black gold five by five is five trades by five ticks which is five by fifty dollars per contract after commissions that's two hundred and twenty five dollars now what I'm demoing to you today is the 2b and with this strategy as you're about to see and we'll look at it on say three markets three by eight yes I can and the whole idea is this is excuse me many of my members will ask what is a realistic daily target and we've got a, an Excel spreadsheet on our on my Google Drive which you, you can download and you can play around with your contract value how much capital you've got and what your daily target is now based upon starting with a starting capital of 5,000 which is what I recommend if you're a futures trader okay that's what I recommend there where if you're say trading stocks uh, or uh, say even Forex you can start with a lot less but we need to consider one of the most important things of trading which is money management okay very important but anyway based upon achieving a net $200 a day and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that 200 a day that's a thousand a week now with this table how it works if you haven't seen it I know many members and many uh, of those clients in my database have seen this but every time we achieve another five thousand dollars in our account we go to two contracts if you can average two hundred dollars a day within 16 weeks you have the possibility the potential of earning ten thousand plus per week that's that is you invest five thousand dollars in your account you double that then you start trading two contracts you get to fifteen thousand then you start trading three contracts and so on until you get up to 10 contracts now here you can go all the way up to 100 contracts and realistically traders we've got to be realistic on the average trader and the average trader trades only between 1 and 10 contracts but hey I know $10,000 a week is a part-time income you can't really live on it but guess what you can probably pay a few bills that is the potential now it really gets back to this how do we do this well with my strategies we we have our scalps what I call the scalps which is our what we call the 34 B's we've got another setup uh, called the slingshots that's our five by five that's that's our scalps but then we've got what we call the 2b where we're, as you'll see we can go for larger targets now what is very very important is this if trading hasn't been kind to you forget all the other strategies I teach right now and focus on the one because as Mark Douglas who is probably the greatest trading psychologist um, ever he what he says in that particular book the disciplined trader which is really every traders Bible here's what he says what you want to do is become an expert at one particular pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical so you'll be working with a visual representation of the market that's what the 2b is it's a geometric pattern that appears in the market each and every day now subject to the time frame you're trading and the type of chart that you're using it can be on some markets dozens of times a day now of course I know what some traders are going to do when I go to the charts oh we could never get a fill all right well increase the time frame then if the market's too fast for you if it's ticking over use a higher time frame or guess what you might just have to use a market order and scalp 70 80 100 dollars out of it you know there's there's an answer and a workaround to everything there are some days however the market's going absolutely ballistic stand aside for that time or look at a different market don't look for excuses okay the strategy kicks butt now it works on all types of charts you've got time based of course tick charts volume range and Renko now my favorite nowadays is Renko with tick tick and Renko charts work 
beautifully together one of the challenges we have with Renko that is they're, they're fantastic for smoothing out price action absolutely beautiful but you can also miss out on a lot of valuable information so what I do is I'll have a, a relevant tick chart I have what we call an entry and an anchor chart set up and same with my Renko and I will be looking at both because and I will probably even see a few things marked up on the Renko charts where I said look at the tick because you'll sometimes not get a uh, an entry on the Renko but you've got a brilliant entry coming off the tick chart but anyway that's a more advanced technique beyond this video but the important thing is the strategy that I'm about to show you if you're not a fan of Renko or you don't know what Renko is you can run it with tick or a time-based chart it really doesn't matter now the philosophy behind it we know that this is a great book by by Michael Covell is it how great traders make millions in up or down markets by trend following and of course we know that everyone loves to try to pick market highs and lows okay double tops double bottoms and you know when we've got divergence that yes you can kick butt and you'll see some on the on the screen in a moment uh, that I'll show you some great setups that but do kick butt but it's a more advanced technique and you've got to start with the basics start making money good money with the basics it can always advance so number one we want to go with a trend following strategy number two we want to use multiple time frames and this is an excellent book by my by Robert Miner high probability trading uh, trading strategies now in this book he talks about what he calls a multiple time frame momentum strategy and as he says here it's the most powerful approach I've discovered in over 20 years to filter any market in any time frame so what I've done is taken a blend of the best of the best out of my 25 years in the markets in taking these and applying them to two to three time frames and using strategies that are trend following now very simply if we look at the dark blue line here what we've got here is the the dark blue line represents the higher time frame and the little red line here represents retracements or pullbacks and what we call trend continuation now once we get up here realistically this is where we're looking at our divergence trades but these are the ones that we really want to master initially so a couple of really important things traders is to know which is the right market for you and there are literally dozens of markets and these are some of the core futures markets that I love this strategy on and in my coaching program we've got clients here that are trading gold the black black gold being oil the Russell you know as long as we've got some volume okay this is this is really important likewise if you're a stock trader you want to make sure that of course you've got volume that's really important pumping through and that they can trend so likewise with the Forex traders watching this you know the euro dollar the Aussie dollar the pound all of these are great markets with this uh, so it really doesn't matter but what is very important is we followed the advice and we you know of, of guys like Robert and some of the strategies that I put together over the many years I've been involved in trading and we follow the trend so let's go to the charts okay now what I'm going to do is just give you a quick overview on these now what I've also done because I'm going to have members watching this okay as I mentioned uh, I've got over 5,000 members now and I've got probably about 300 members that are in my coaching program or have been in the coaching program so I know guys and ladies you're all watching this or going to potentially be watching this so what that means is I haven't cherry-picked these I'm giving you every potential entry of this particular strategy that I call the two B what you can't see is the is you can have by the way this set up on one screen you can have your anchor chart here and your entry chart but I've just uh, for this exercise I'm just showing you just the one chart the one time frame our entry time frame and I'm going to show you every setup that qualified now what's very very important about the 2b is you've generally got plenty of time for it to set up if it's too fast if it's moving like this okay change your time frame it's you're trading a too lower time frame you might you or you do need to go to a higher time frame but I'm giving you every single setup whether it was a winner 
or a loss but you can also learn to recognize these um, uh, literally within an hour or two within seven days you could really master this one setup now on top of that we've got some other golden setups and I'm not going to really run through it's beyond the scope of what I wanted to cover here as I mentioned this is for tomorrow's coaching session for my coaching clients but uh, but anyway so let's have a look so we're looking at the Rustle now this is a Renko chart and this is also a six tick Renko now the Rustle is five dollars a tick and with this our target our ideal target is going to be six uh, uh, six um, candles or each one of these step downs I should say is so is six of these and each one of these steps is worth fifteen dollars just let me get it out right first of all okay so I'm after six bricks to tick down now once you get to four you're seriously going to consider going to break even okay and we can of course trail now those little red dots here are, are, are my ATR indicator and if you're a trade station user by the way you get all of this anyway but uh, if you don't have trade station uh, I've got it for ninja trader 8 you can use uh, a parabolic SAR and I teach you how to set up a parabolic does exactly the same thing so if you want to trail and pick up the runners you can use your ATR uh, you can use the blue trigger line or you can of course trail there's lots of different ways of staying in the trades or if you're trading one contract I recommend you simply scalp out a fixed target particularly when you're first starting to learn to trade because look what I say trade is every time the cash register rings it's music to my ears and particularly when you're starting off with one contract you want to be really hitting a target and getting out so each one of these step downs is $15 now my stop is 18 ticks now I'm not in until the third candle the close of the third candle my stop goes one tick above okay so I've got around an 18 tick stop 18 tick target okay so easily hit it there that one there we are one two three four five look it ticked down the six uh, or ninety dollars but um, you would have gone the break even I only got half your target there easily got it there I'm just going to show you every entry look and on these traders there's no discretion okay for the naysayers it's an oh it's easy to mark it up these rules are black and white it wouldn't matter whether your marking is up in real time the only thing is with this entry your entry wasn't till this candle here okay I've just marked it up just to make next to the super scalper to make it easy now if you use this white candle by the way this is called my super scalper that does not plot until I get a third lower close or higher close I only have that indicated for a couple of platforms but it's a pattern that I teach you anyway you don't need it that is as long as we've got our three lower closes that's all we've got to worry about but there's one there here's another one here's another one now we've got um, so I'm just taking random days here uh, now this trade here you were still in it when this one set up these are all two B's now on the way down uh, we've got lots of slingshots we've got lots of 34 B's as well then we've also got which I don't really want to get into today we've got things like the 2d and the 3d which absolutely kick butt as well here's another 2b here's another 2b as well now when we have the 2b's that fail okay the ones that fail are nearly always after what we call a 2d which is a double divergence or a triple divergence if you're going to get stopped nearly always it's after a strong divergence signal uh, here we go another 2b 2b now that's not a 2b that is that is that is these are all very very rules based okay all right now you're saying okay well look you're showing a great trend I'm just going through one day after another here traders uh, and we're still on the one day by the way uh, and this here this is a couple of hundred dollars okay this is uh, about two hundred dollars in that move there okay 2b 2b let's keep going uh, there's 2b now this one here you were still in if you took that there and for my members watching you also know that's also a bet the farm there is your divergence there's your little double top so that's a bet the farm one another 2b another 2b so this is the Russell okay then we go back up 2b 2b uh, 2b question mark you're making new 
higher highs okay so we're changing market direction this is the one if you're going to fail and it's off a double bottom but then it turns into a t4 and if you haven't seen my video on the t4 what I call it is turning a losing trade into a winning trade because nearly every 2b turns into a t4 let's have a look at FGBL uh, for our clients that like to trade the European market so what we've got here traders is a now this the the, um, the other one was five dollars a tick so each one of these step downs each one of these bricks is two ticks okay or 20 euros so every step up you can see there is 10 euros so when we're looking at uh, the two Renko our average stop there if you're using this time frame is seven ticks or 70 euro and likewise our target is around the seven to ten unless you start the trail now the beauty of trend following strategies and the reason I've got a question mark there is that it was getting a little bit um, uh, marginal we, we talk about in my training we talk a lot about a fanning of the EMA see how EMAs are starting to fan here we're together this is an area of consolidation or chop now this is a market open so quite often this happens we get a change in market direction thank you we've got a great 3d members you know how profitable 3ds are but then it turns into another 2b question mark because on the anchor chart it was questionable as well so I don't really include those but anyway uh, winner winner uh, let's have a look here uh, a winner now here that's a, another great winning 2d another 2d another 2d here we then end up with traders a now this is a 2bd now what I mean by that these are the ones that fail after divergence they're gonna fail but in fact you were kept in that trade now this turns into another 2b your stop by the way is one tick below your little swing low here okay so you're not stopped out by that uh, the only thing is I have what I call a time based stop if I've got any more than eight to ten candles going sideways so I'll then take what I call sometimes a haircut I'll consider getting out of that trade because something may have altered if you didn't do that you're still in the trade uh, it did tick up uh, four ticks or 40 euros but there is another entry here's another entry again now with all of these uh, there's one then you've got your classic uh, 2d pivot bounces all right here is another 2b once again same sort of pattern you were still kept in that trade okay then we got on to uh, there's another 2b now in the meantime there's a ton of other you've got your 34s you got your slingshots uh, you got your t19s you know there's a lot of other different types of trade setups that I'm not explaining but what I'm showing you this is remember that slide three by eight yes I can that's three by eighty dollars there's your 200 a day now just there and if you're trailing of course you can really hit those home runs what makes this so sound is the time it takes for the setup get ready get set go one of the challenges that you can have with a lot of setups is they happen so quickly all right with these because they're a deeper retracement or a pullback we've got more time to look for the setup or to wait for this for let me get this out right wait for the setup now what I recommend traders and what I sorry what I was about to say with that is you can realistically as you develop your skill set you can trade two markets if you're focused purely on the 2b you could trade two markets at once all right but uh, you wouldn't be really looking to do any more than that and if you're going to trade some of our other setups like our classic 34b which is a 70 75 percent winner um, uh, the slingshots the rule of one some of the others really you'd stick to one market one time frame well that's what I would recommend let's just have a quick look at gold at um, sorry oil uh, it, by the way it kicks butt big time also on gold it really doesn't matter the market as long as you've got markets it'll trend it doesn't matter whether you go up, you know up and down or, you know that's what we want but it works okay let's just have a look here so let's just go back here a bit here uh, well we've got a pile of 34 so what I've done is just marked up uh, just the the two B's here 
the two B's are very easy to learn as I mentioned very rules based they're a double bounce trade all right so we've got a 2b now when you start to learn how to trade these pivot bounces and that's what this red line is that's a pivot so when you got a 2b with a pivot bounce it really kicks butt okay and then when you get a 2b with what we call a bet the farm a double top with some divergence fantastic again but initially you just keep it simple 2b thank you thank you thank you now once again I'm showing everyone that is on the screen or that uh, uh, qualify was a winner or a loser okay winner this one here uh, you were still in this trade when this other one sets up okay uh, then you had another nice winner another one no that's not one this is one and there's reasons for that which um, once again you've got to invest hundred ninety seven dollars and find out of crumbs 197 you get hundreds of videos full email support from me uh, if you want for a slight extra investment um, uh, you can join my coaching program but basically if you do, if you just want the strategies there's PowerPoints there's videos you know if this once again visit my website and you can just see a huge amount of resources but putting all that aside keep it simple traders you know trading doesn't have to be complicated trading is not rocket science okay the only way as I mentioned you can fail here is if you use the incorrect money management and you start picking and choosing that is you've got to trade what you see not what you think let me say that again you got to trade what you see not what you think and that's by following the rules uh, okay winner 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 now uh, I should point out sorry uh, with this this is a four Renko means that each one of these bricks is $40 a tick on, uh, on oil is $10 so each one of these step downs is um, uh, worth $20 so there you're in on the third candle 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 two there's two hundred dollars just in that move now what I've done is I've just uh, disengaged the uh, my ATR stop and flip so let me put that on okay so there's my ATR if you want to use an ATR or you can use a parabolic or as I said you can use the blue trigger line is it and these are all ideas that I discuss in my training with you but once again if you're a one contract trader or if you're like me if you're a scalper okay usually we're after a fixed target you're in and out also that can be a really useful traders particularly if you're trading a fast time frame for an example I know lots of traders like to trade a four tick uh, Renko on the Russell now the Russell's got fantastic volume nowadays a couple hundred thousand contracts a day but a four tick Russell can really move you can't use limit orders you've got to use nearly always you're scalping you're using market orders but you're in and out you're in and out now the methodology there and even with oil here five by five or five ticks that's 250 gross that's you're over your two hundred dollars a day there as per that little chart that I showed you where's it gone let me just pull this up again I just want to show you this okay now when you get up to 300 a day now and just on that point if you want to net 200 a day your daily target is actually 300 a day you are going to have down days let's talk reality here but with the 2b it is a kick butt very very high probability strategy why you're trading in the direction of higher time frames you're waiting for that retracement you're waiting for that pullback and bang we're in within one or two ticks and that's the other thing traders you know if someone sometimes I'll say traders will say oh the strategies don't work how can they not work as long as you're in um, within one or two ticks or three or four candles uh, of the trend continuation now let me tell you if you're trading the 34 we're actually in on the very first candle so for those that say why are you waiting for three why don't we get on the one there is a logic behind that to do with a higher time frame okay so if you're going to trade the slingshot or the 34b we're usually in 
uh, with that one there for an example right there you're in on the first candle you can't get in any sooner unless you drop the time frame down okay um, and th the other thing with this is rec learning how to recognize a trend all right looking for the fanning of the EMAs now yes you'll lose if you're always getting in at the end of the trend but the secret is is learning we've got a setup we call the or I call it the t20 the t20 is a strategy that identifies the start of a new trend very easy to learn and a lot of logic behind it. actually see that black dot there that's a little indicator I've got that tells me that I've got a t20 now what that does there it tells me I've got a start of a new trend now that's a counter trend start well, let's go back to another one okay that's telling me I've got the start of a new trend the logic there it is there you get taught the logic on this so it's very very easy to learn the logic of here it is here this is a start of a new trend right very easy and yes you can trade the two the, the, the t20 as a standalone strategy it's best with the trend winner 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 okay um, uh, winner okay as long as we're in the direction of the major EMAs traders there are literally dozens of trading methodologies and strategies that really do work I've been doing this for, for a long long time now I've got hundreds of members I you know <laughs> I, I love this I live for trading all right but it also got to tell you it ain't rocket science the big thing is the head stuff traders that's what this business is about is mastering the mind that really is the most important thing with trading is the mind stuff um, and I think uh, where it is there you know this is another slide I want it's not for this it's for our coaching tomorrow is it does your mindset support your trading you know you can do this this is about mindset getting your head right and it's about you know to stop thinking about that one individual trade you've got to start thinking and trade lots of 20 when you know traders if you've got an 80% strategy an 80% winner and uh, you know that's 16 out of 20 trades you've got to stop thinking about the one individual trader the one trades random you've got to start thinking in lots of 20 when I have a loss hey guess what I'm one step closer or one trade closer to a run of winners okay if by reframing the me give away members emails but here's what he just said um uh, he just uh, what do you say here uh, hi coach I've been having a good morning this loss was rather um, uh, frustrating but here's what he said in brackets he said and actually let me bring this down okay because it doesn't show his um, uh, I'm not going to show his email here but he says here this loss was frustrating but what been having a good but what can I learn from this this is about reframing and this is about what I teach in coaching is what can I learn from this we have a loss okay what can I learn from this what is the presupposition the presupposition we can learn from that you know it's called um, uh, another one of my coaching clients cam uh, out of the UK he sent me an ebook called the black box and it's about um, uh, aircraft and unfortunately we've heard very recently about a couple of the Boeing aircraft that have gone down and with a problem and of course it's a black box but if you look at the approach that an aircraft manufacturer and the FDA and all those so what they called the anyway the the crash investigators how can we learn from this disaster and ensure that it never happens again likewise when you apply that that way of thinking to trading what can I learn from this how can I improve this how can I improve my stop my exit etc what's the presupposition traders the presupposition is I can do this better we can improve it and that this all comes down to mindset and as I said earlier traders the shadow of the past can hold your future hostage if trading hasn't been good to you up till now let's change it you change it by trading high probability trend following strategies okay the 2d and members that are listening and coaching members are listening you know is a good 80% strategy but it's a divergence trade okay slightly harder to learn right and there's a number of additional conditions before you take the entry 
where the to be is very very easy to learn within seven days you're going to have it down pat now I'm not saying you're going to be live within seven days because of the rules that we have with well what I recommend and how you train yourself but you can master the to be very very easily you know and it's a great methodology very very high probability all markets all time frames so thank you traders I certainly hope you get something out of this and hope you have you as a member thank you